Folks, welcome one and all to the world's fastest QuickBooks tutorial. My name is Matt Seamer. I'll be your guide today. And just so you know, I am a full-time professional bookkeeper, so I do know what I'm talking about and use QuickBooks every day. Uh, today, I'm, well, in 10 minutes, obviously you're not going to learn everything that there is to know about QuickBooks, but I do want to give you uh, a taste of what this great program can do for you and your company as well as get you some hands-on experience with how to use the program. So with that in mind, um, we are going to start from scratch. Now if you already do have a QuickBooks company started, just bear with me and watch for a couple minutes as I get those of you that don't have any companies uh, up and running. Uh, as you can see, I've already got this. This is QuickBooks right here. I'm running QuickBooks Pro 2006, and this is my company. I do use QuickBooks each and every day. Um, for the purposes of this tutorial, it doesn't really matter. If you have a different version of QuickBooks, we're not going to be doing anything that complicated or in depth that varies from one type, one version of, of QuickBooks to another. So you'll be just fine. Um, Okay, so we're going to start by making a brand new company. So, uh, well, first of all, if you, and, and you know what, feel free to pause this video at any point if I'm going too fast for you. We do go kind of fast in this video, so feel free to pause if your computer is running slow or anything like that. Um, so I want you to go ahead and open up QuickBooks right now. And once you've got that open, I want you to go to File and New Company, just like that. And then QuickBooks is going to pull up a, uh, a start screen for us. Um, now this is called the QuickBooks Easy Step Interview, uh, which is a great process to go through. Um, it's very thorough. It asks you a lot of questions about how your company is run and, and how it does things financially. That uh, All things that are important for getting you a good QuickBooks file set up. Um, but today we're going to skip right over this. Um, because you know we're not going to go that in depth today. I just want to get you comfortable and see a little bit of what QuickBooks can do. So we're going to skip the interview. Um, like I said, you can come back to this later. Um, it is going to ask us some basic company information, uh, and feel free, like I said, to pause the video and actually type in your real company company information here. Um, I'm just going to type in uh, some, well, basically some stuff to, to get going. And I'll skip over the rest of this right now. I'm going to say next. Now, now QuickBooks asks us what kind of company, um, what kind of business you're running. Uh, and uh, you'll see in a little bit why, but this, this is an important step. So, um, you know, maybe pause the video for, uh, for a minute or two and just go through this list, figure out which one best matches you. Um, if you're not sure, just go for general business. Um, it, it won't really be that big of a deal. And I, I want to emphasize, too, that what we're doing here today is not going to mess you up. If you, if you find out that you didn't like um, how you did something today, it's not really a big deal. Uh, QuickBooks is a lot like Microsoft Word. Like in Microsoft Word, you can type up a letter or make a document, save it, and then make a brand new document. You can make hundreds and hundreds of files if you want to. And QuickBooks is actually the same way. Uh, it's not like you create a company and then you're stuck with it forever. You can actually make brand new company files and start over from scratch if you feel like you need to do that. So. Uh, I just say that to say, don't feel like anything we do today is written in stone or that you'll make a mistake that'll break the program forever or anything like that. Okay, so for today, we're just going to say general business, and then I'm going to say next. And now it asks me where I want to save this, so I'm going to just save it on my desktop. You can save it wherever you like on your computer, so it's going to be easy for you to remember and to get back to you later. Um, so now it's just thinking and creating that company file. This takes a you know a minute or so, depending on how fast your computer is. Um, hopefully, mine doesn't embarrass me right now. 
still thinking and okay um, our file is made so uh, for my version of QuickBooks this is what comes up this is the screen that comes up at the start yours might look a little different than this um, no big deal if it does uh, I'm just going to close out this screen because we, you know, it's something you might want to go over uh, later, um, but we don't really need to do this. Um, so I'm going to close that screen. And this is the home page that comes up for me. A again, your version of QuickBooks might look, uh, might look a little different, um, but that's okay. That's okay if it does. Uh, okay, so I'm going to close out of this because I personally don't like using it very much. Um, so today, just to get you started, um, actually what I want you to do, uh, and go ahead and pause the video because you probably don't have this right in front of you, but just to get you some experience using QuickBooks, I want you to get your last month's bank statement out because we're going to enter in everything that happened on your last month's bank, bank statement. So go ahead and pause the video now um, and go get that. Okay, so I'm assuming you've got that bank statement in hand with you. Uh, and we're going to use that to uh, get started here. So first I want you to go to your list menu and, and choose chart of accounts. Okay, and that's going to come up. Okay, now first first step we're going to take here is we need to make a new account. Uh, the reason is okay. Let's. I, I'm just going to assume that that bank statement that you have is a checking account and it's not anything fancy or out of the ordinary. Um, so what we're going to do. Uh, th this is your chart of accounts and it lists um, all of the different. Um, well, you can see over here your types that means you know here are your expenses um, some li uh, payroll liability account right here um, so we're gonna make a couple new accounts right now so you can use uh, that bank statement so I want you to go to the account button and choose new or if you like using keyboard shortcuts you can hit the control N button so I'm gonna say new and first we're going to set up a bank account. You see there are a lot of different types of accounts we can set up. Uh, first we're going to do bank and we're going to call this our checking account. Uh, nothing else that we need to fill in here right now. I'm just going to say OK. And the other thing I want you to do is we're going to make one more account uh, just for the fun of it, right? Um, so again we hit account new and this one we're going to say is income. We're going to have an income account for you. And here we're going to type in sales. Uh, obviously, you'll probably want to go back at a later time and get more specific. You know, if, if you've got a toy store, you might name the accounts toy sales, toy repair income, delivery income, that kind of thing. Now that's a bit more detail than we're going to get into today, but it at least gets you thinking about um, you know some of the possibilities okay so that's it for video number one please move on along to video number two of the QuickBooks tutorial series